Now, we have a tendency to assume as a humanity that we're always progressing, that we're always developing, and that this will never stop, and that whatever we have today is always better than yesterday. Now, of course, that can't be true. There is a ceiling, and perhaps we've even reached it in a number of different segments and areas. So, I'm not saying that today's music is not as good as it was in previous generations, but if someone were to ask me why it isn't as good, I would have a few different ideas. For one thing, and I know the younger generation hates to hear it, but the fact is that people creating music these days are not in any way musicians. They can't play any musical instrument, they don't know any theory, they can't analyze what they're doing in any way, and they're not familiar with what came before them, and really, when you don't know any of these things, when you don't know where the boundaries are, it's kind of hard to push them. So when you have people who can't tell a chord from a cable writing music, and people who've never read a book writing lyrics, it really shouldn't surprise us that this is what we're getting. The second thing is that we are living in a much more image-conscious society and culture, and the people standing out are not necessarily standing out for their musical prowess. Now, I mentioned this to someone, and he told me that I was just being jealous because as, an, as a musician, because I was a musician and I was unable to create an image that would stand out. And my response was that I don't remember any models in the 90s complaining that they weren't giving a chance in a musical career. And thirdly, and this is very important, the fact is that it's now become much easier for many people to live better lives than their parents in other ways besides achieving superstardom. I wrote about this in a post on my blog called Nice to Meet You, Paul McCartney, VP Business Development. And the fact of the matter is that going to study programming and getting a job in high tech is a much better way to achieve a comfortable life than trying to hit it big in music, which really 40, 50 years ago represented the only way for a lot of these guys to achieve, to get out of their neighborhoods and achieve something better for themselves. And of course the corollary is also true. That leaves a lot of little rich kids with a computer and time on their hands deciding to be musicians for the fun of it. Hey Harry. So that leaves a lot of rich kids with some free time on their hands and a computer, time and money to create music and promote it in the various ways with these elaborate, very expensive video clips and so on which shoot through social media. And lastly, we live in an obviously hit single conscious culture. That's the way nearly every musician operates these days, even myself, unfortunately. You're only going to consider recording something that has a chance of becoming a hit. And no one is writing, let alone recording, a day in the life since it has no chance to do anything on the charts. And when no one is trying to break boundaries like that, that's got to lead to a decline in the quality of music. Now, it is possible that I'm just a disgruntled musician, which I really am, unable to make it in this world, which remains to be seen, but I guess you'll have to be the judge of that.